Hey guys, this is Subhuat Danki. In the previous session, we discussed about hyperscaling section. Today we are going to discuss about more tools which are required and helpful in hyperscaling system. Hyperscaling system basically depends on two major requirements in the rig hierarchy. One is like we discussed earlier. Every skin joint requires one directional joint. And direction joint need not be skinned to the skin mesh. And one more thing, every skin joint in turn will act as a child joint for another skin joint. That is one requirement. Second requirement is in a broken hierarchy like these are individual joints and it doesn't have any child joint. So in this case we need to update the rig a little bit. Either it can be done by selection or a few lines of code can be added after your auto rig system if you use it. I mean if you use any auto rig system, once you run the auto rig system from your from your end, you need to run few lines code or you can do manually these minor fixes. Let us see how to fix this parent child information. Basically, hyperskin depends on every skin joint needs one directional joint. In turn, another joint can act as a child joint or directional joint. I mean, every skin joint in turn should act as a child joint for another skin joint. In this case, in this, sorry, since the Maya couldn't recognize this as a child joint, we need to do it manually by using more tool section let us see in the pipeline it is a rig fix section parent joints by implied remove parent child implied info these two buttons we can use for correcting the rig with minor fixes in this case every skin joint will have information parent and child info let us see next extra attributes there is implied parent implied child let us see here as we have seen hs node hyperskin node hyperskin node is already provided with along with hyperskinning system in this case let us see actually the child is here parent constraint but let us see first let us create hyper hyperskin node for this giant I mean for this giant. In normal case, sorry, in normal case, parent implied is true, child implied is true. That's how hyperscanning system will recognize. In this case, let us see a joint number two. Giant number three is a child giant for this, as needed by hyperscanning system. Now, node equals to let us see this is L2 giant both so the moment parent will come as a number one giant here and child giant will act as a number three giant I mean leg three giant here node equals to this one select it n dot parent with parent implied option these are the features available in hyper hyper skin mode the when parent implied is true it returns l leg one join if it is zero i mean it is false it doesn't return anything similarly when child implied is true it returns giant number three child implied is false it returns parent constraint under this one so this giant child is actually actual child is this one the moment we fix the rig with minor changes it read as a like three giant so it will come so 
exactly how it is happening let us see so every joint when this i mean in more tool section the moment we apply by selecting specific joints wherein joints by implied means it overrides that information parent child information in this case implied parent leg one joint implied child leg three joint first let us remove all the information like this one is having only parent info and the child info also this one is also having this thing now let us remove existing information let us select all skin joints and remove parent child remove parent child implied info once it is removed so now it's not returning anything so that the information didn't exist though it's true so for now let us forget about the script editor section only thing we need to do is and we have cleaned the extra attributes message attribute section there is no information right now while applying parent joints by implied or overriding the parent child information using by selection any number of two joints first select the child joint next select the parent joint and run parent joints by implied so it will get m child implied child this one and this will get implied parent means overhead and parent m2 joint and similarly select this and this and parent joints now this will be having implied child as a joint to and this will be having both the information like parent and child this is one way by selecting at a time two joints two joints now let us see selecting multiple joints at a time and let us remove remove parent child implied info now we can see there is no information exist so when we have selected multiple joints we need to select from down to up applying i mean applying joints child joint parent one joint parent two joint and let us say parent three joint and run parent joints by implied so automatically it will create sorry it will create message attributes and parent like two joint parent and child again parent and child and this will be having only child because this is the last this is individual joint hierarchy now let us see in a broken hierarchy how to fix these things now let us see the same thing in broken hierarchy or single hierarchy Let's go to let us hide template skin and let us hide the disk. In this case, cog joint will be having two joints. Suppose let us say when it is reading, when there are two joints, child joint will be read as a first joint. In this case, first joint is first child is this one, second child is this one. <laughs> By any chance, when prefix is there and by any chance right side joint is on by any case if right leg joint is a first child of this cog joint during this creation it will update that left joint will come as a first joint let us see here first let us create the hyper disk hyper skin group let us delete so during create hyper disk function it will update this information whatever the starts with l underscore that joint will come as a it will update as a 
first child i mean sib index let us create disk and we will observe this thing it is updated so when hyper disks are created left side giant will come as a first giant if we want to override this information manually we can select this giant so there is no extra extra attribute and select cog giant parent next and go to more tools and parent giants by implied so now it comes with message attribute implied parent and cog giant comes with implied child if we want to do it through programming let us say and we need to do same thing in broken hierarchy also the broken hierarchy is nothing but this particular giant will act as a separate hierarchy First, let us remove the existing override and information. Let's remove parent child information. So once it is done, now we will check this child whether it is having. There is no attribute. If we want to do it by scripting, I mean, once your auto rig is run, we can do it. manually for example after auto rig is run let us say these three giants we want to give this information i mean let us parent it again let us see these three giants how they will interconnect with this thing let us unparent let us unparent again you can take this giant and this giant and cog giant so score after auto rig cmds dot select and we need to give these names in the order Joint is R like one joint. Sorry, L like one joint. Next one is cog joint. Single quotes. Once last joint is done, we can use this thing. Relative. So we can select these three things. So if these three things are selected, and we can write hyperscan dot parent child by implied. For that, we can input hyperscan module also from AES hyperscan import stop. So in your in your hierarchy. only these changes are needed just these four lines code is enough after our after the auto rig is done now by selecting these things using this command just on this thing now let us check so this is having both the child information and this is having only 
parent information, implied parent, or overridden parent, and cock joint includes only implied child joint. So that's how, just by providing this small information, your rig is ready for hyperscaling system. So the, the better thing to get better results out of hyperskin, please try to avoid skinning with end joints. So for that we can use skinning, bind skin, we can go for selected joints. So similarly in hand hierarchy or spine, hier spine hierarchy or head hierarchy, we can select few lines joints using code sorry few joints with using one line code and we can run this thing so with that all the information will be updated and hierarchy is ready for hyperscale that's it for overriding information Now let us see lips hyperskin. In this case, let us see hyperskinning on non tubular section like lips area. In this case, giants are not yet skinned to the skin mesh. Without locking weights, if we skin, let us see how it works. The default skinning, lot of unwanted deformation will be there. So, and unwanted deformation is happening in all this area. We can see. So, it is influencing the lot of area. This much area. So, now let us see how lips hyperskin works on non tubular section areas like lips area let's open another file In this case giants are skinned. The giants are already skinned to it, but with the so added these influence using lock weights, but still they are not painted. So let us see how it works. Select all the skin giants and enter here to select vertices for this area select any of this grow selection and we can go to select convert selection to vertices and enter these vertices in this area and skin mesh needs to be enter here let us generate hyperskin lips now hypersmooth is running on both the lips So hyperskin is done. Now we can observe while moving the leaves. There is no pulling off vertices from lower opposite lip. So each lips are clearly skinned by this thing. Both the lips are separated. The skinning, proper skinning, and at few cases, these vertices when go close each other, select specific vertices, 
and we can run a smooth nearest a smooth nearest button you can run this press G key again and again G G key G that's how it works if Cypress can work some non-linear tubular section So whenever we see the vertex go closer, select this vertex, apply smooth nearest. So it clean the that line flow. Smooth nearest again. 